Hi Vernon. Well, welcome to Calgary. Uh, I just uh, watched your film. I really enjoy it. Thank so, uh, tell um, tell me something about the the song. I really like the song that was uh, used in the some of the songs that were used in the movie. Yeah, all well, the song was composed and created by Sherry Ulrich, and uh, was just out of her own feeling for it for the film. And it's just awesome because it, it comes along so good with the film. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have asked for the for the CD or so, but uh, maybe we can uh, make it that we can download it from the from the website, from the website. But uh, the soundscape is really awesome. I had a, I had this vision of a woman's voice, a clear woman's voice, and I had some First Nation uh, CDs beside my editing table there, but uh, I had no idea that it could be something good like. Uh, this music uh, done and when I first heard the first clip I was just thrilled by it and it's mm -hmm. even better than I had dreamed of. Yeah, it, it make, matches really well. Yeah. The other thing, that the other main what, what big impression I got is the, the landscape of Yukon is just beautiful. Um, and can you say something about that too? Well, I revealed a secret here because normally we don't show people that it's so beautiful up there, so we don't want everybody to move up there. <laughs> no, but it's, uh, it's part of that film, you know. You can, I saw breast cancer films, some people just sitting there talking, and uh, so with, with the background of the Yukon, with the river, with the race, I think it, it gives a bigger audience uh, perspective and uh, it shows uh, how beautiful it's up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got asked by some people when we started with the film. They said, why would people move up there? And for heaven's sake, why would they stay up there? Well, I mean, try to show it in the film. Why, why people stay up there? Because it's really so beautiful. And as it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, the, the main thing is the, the women. Um, and in the film, you can really, you really show them. Um, to, it took really, took so much of their energy to to complete the race yeah. over so many days. Oh, it's amazing if you think that 740 kilometers, and uh, they did it in 57 hours. And uh, it's basically when you when you watch them paddling, they do about 60 strokes per minute. So that's one stroke per second for 57 hours. It's just amazing. And you get there, and if the, we were filming from the power boat, you get there. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. They paddle. It's 12 o'clock noon. They mm -hmm. paddle. It's 10 o'clock at night. They paddle. Right. It's just just amazing. Yeah, except a few mandatory stops. They they, yeah. they don't stop, right? They, they just take turns and sleep, like... Well, they, they have these mandatory stops where they actually have to stop, like the seven hour stop, it's just before you get through the rapids, it would be way too dangerous if you have half sleep people going through this oh, rapids. Oh, okay, so that's how they like set those locations. Well, yeah, yeah dangerous spot coming, and better also, give them full energy. There is also very few uh, uh, road access. So the first spot is basically one of the only road access in the whole race. Oh, I and see. And then there is no other road access for about 400 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I really enjoyed the, the film and uh, best of luck, Vern. Thanks.